Great sense, Sagittarius. Welcome to the next installment of What Remains of Edith Finch. What an interesting story this one's been. But it was just got done checking out his animation book. Anyway, uh, Milton, who is at the moment um, missing. Um, gone missing Mom's some time ago. Mom's searching Oop. for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Fascinating. Yeah, and so if you watch the previous part, anyway, yeah, that's, I guess they were all homeschooled here. And I mean, check out the projector up there. Pull down movie screen. I mean, what a, you know, homeschooling. Pretty awesome. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. A little bit further. My bad. Man, and we are way, way up here on top of the house. Amazing. Can you After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until mom got him a job at the cannery. Wow, when Washington had canneries around here. This looks a little sketch. Man, it almost looks like somebody busted that handrail. Took a dive. Well, it looks like we can go this way. Can she go? Nope, nope. Oh, she can. What the heck, Batman? This is crazy. This would be so sketchy to be out here on this thing like this. Huh, dude. Yeah, and out there, I guess, is where the family house sunk. His great-grandfather decided to sell. As an S A I L sail, their house across the ocean. Uh. Wow. Lewis's room smelled very very familiar that part of him lived on hmm very bohemian one of the parties you must have thrown up here he was so proud of being indian i think for him it was a way to be something other than just a finch I actually enjoyed a bit of hookah magic. There is the hookah pipe. That one's a hookah pipe. This one, not so much. This one is, uh, once again, I think, Summit uh, 1G's uh, mother's water vase. Yeah, it looks oddly familiar to the one that was... Uh, on his stream. He said it was the water vase. I believe him. It was his mother's water vase. Heaven forbid if she cleans it though, huh? And there's some oregano there. Some oregano's. Man, that looks like old uh, <laughs> Nintendo. Wonderland Turbo. 
That's Lewis true. and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Hilarious. I guess it was up there on that television. Okay. Um, I think actually that's it for little tidbits. Um, go over here real quick. Lewis Finch, locker contents. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Oh, working at the cannery. Wow. He kept working at the cannery. But he withdrew part of himself. That's In our sessions, funny. I saw the same behavior. I had a high school job doing the same thing. His mind began to... But up in Alaska. Oh, chop the head off. Yeah, if you were to... Uh, Cut. His mind began to cut one of your fingers off. You got ten thousand dollars. Those crazy bastards that tried to do that. Wonder. Oh. His mind began to wander. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small, imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Hmm. Then something moved. Bats. Bats? That's crazy. And toads. Things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. Oh, two fish. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. Wow, check out this like mini game up here. This is pretty cool. I worried about him then. They That's dreaming still, like, at the cannery. Fish. They drink at the cannery. up those stairs oh man I'm not doing very good at my fist job I spoke with his boss there we go but he said Lewis had become a model employee methodical tireless focus like a whole new Lewis so I let him go on yeah Oh, man. Oh, sorry. 
Alright, Mr. Fish, got to talk it off. Oh, I see. Oh. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. Can't like pet the puppy dog or anything? Is he gonna follow me? On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Lewis he built Topia, the city huh? up slowly, brick by brick. Then he uh, made musicians. Got dog and musicians, people following us around. That's crazy. Oh, Lewis is a popular guy out this place. And songs for them to play. Baby Yoda up in the window up there. He talked about starting a band. Another Baby Yoda? No, that looks like Jabba the Hutt up in that window. Wow, man, he is a popular guy. He's always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. Hey, boys. Oh, he that no fish. longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. And one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination, so he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. Wow. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Hmm. Wow, we're still chucking fish, huh? He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Lewis. Oh, slow down there, slow down there. There you go. St. Louis. I think we can hit this gap. He started drifting away from our reality. Oh man, destroyed that fish. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Wow. Oh, Mom, did you see the rhythm? Yes. This is me. This is... 24-7. All day. In Christ, so you steer the boat he with the left stick of and obviously shot fish. Handsome queen. Handsome queen. Okay. We're going for the handsome queen. Oh, oh. Don't want to fall behind on the fish. No. The queen was on her own quest for radiant rainbows. Radiant rainbows. As I still continue to shock fish. Noise. He followed the sound of her. Oh, 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 oh no. Silver heart. That almost ace that one. Silver heart.
His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Nice. Even then, his logic remained sound. Oh, I still gotta actually down here do fish. Thank you. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Oh, fish was starting to back up on me. Oh man. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. Got I see. We had a visible fish in our hand. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. Hmm. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. All the while, he still continues to chop the heads of fish My off. imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Wow, this must be after work, huh? Maybe? Can you imagine the amount of bleach you would need in order to get all the fish smell off you after work? Even though this all looks like, I don't, I don't know, laundry detergent paint. Ultimate clean. Okay. L.P. Brown Cannery, 1877. Oh, yeah. The water vase. Hmm. Way before Nintendo Switch, this game came out, but hey. Pretty darn close to a Nintendo Switch. Huh, that's pretty cool. And he's... He's got his, uh... Smoking, uh, that's all there. Out in the open for everybody to began see. to forget the world we know. But hey, it's legal in Washington State. That is your thing. Huh. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. That is crazy. Boy, all those salmon just swimming down there. And then... These guys still have their head on. So... They're setting them all free. They catch them and then set them free. It's like we're in the Willy Wonka chocolate factory, except for fish. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Hmm. Senior Finch. He is not doing so well. Where do we go from here? Into the light? I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Whoa. The palace would be packed with his companions. 
day, good day, my loyal subjects. Huzzah. Oh my, that is a big kitty cat right there. You, sir. Including the wise More captain fish. who'd insisted on biting. The wise calico who insisted on biting. Tiny, aren't I? That was a very big. Oh, flower vase thing. Yeah, that's a huge cat. Boy, just what kind of mushrooms were on that pizza my mother made? His queen waited, holding his crown. And his queen waited, holding his crown. Okay. There was only one thing left to do. Become king. Yes. Sir King Frank. That looks like a guillotine, then it's not so much. Uh, we'll pass. Yep, royalty's not so much for me. See you guys later. Thank you. Alright. Peace. See ya. Nope. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, very nice. You guys put on a brilliant party. Sadly, I, I just I can't stay here. Sorry. I can. Okay. Let's go get our head chopped off. Stained glass window up there of him getting his crown put on. I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Hmm. My sincerest condolences. Well, that was My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. 88 to 2010. No, 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 don't go in there. So if I remember correctly, she could have went left or right before climbing up on the boat. You know, no, we can go out this exit door, but... I'm sure either way would be totally okay. But, yeah. I don't quite know. Oh, that's just dead end of stairs, my bad. I saw these stairs there, I just didn't look up. Got it. through the boat now what a wild and crazy place I mean this is a cool as hell um, bedroom well it's just a bedroom definitely wouldn't want to live here full time though It'd be a little too weird back from Lewis's funeral my mom told me to start packing hmm. she waited until the day before we left to tell Edie 
I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Well, this is unusual. This door is actually open. I wish we'd stayed. Oh, packing peanuts. But I understand why we left. Sounded like somebody walking around. Coffee? Coffee? Don Finch. leaving everything behind. To teach and to learn seven ways to create a fulfilling classroom by Don Finch. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go. But only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh, Grandma. Hmm. Hey. Go hit those stairs. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Really? Maybe it should have come sooner. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Oh, well, that's quite the paper mache of their house, huh? day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edie, specific- I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Hmm.
So wow, is this when she went to bed without, like in part one, she went to bed without any dinner? The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. Oh, this is the next day. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. Of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. Wow. That suddenly got like super serious, huh? Have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning okay dude that's right that's in part one only my mother wanted to like lock away my grandmother and put her in a nursing home wow this is a grandmother's bed holy crap dude From cove to stove, the hunter's roast, cross creek cookery, raw found weird recipes, flavors of India, sublime supper, and for salt water yeast. Wow. Okay. History of the Finches by Edie Finch. Dear Edie. There's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. Hmm. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. Never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Oh, wow. This is not good. I got turned around. Wow, seriously. If it was an earthquake, it would be like a tsunami, so now yeah, the ocean would, you know, retract out to the middle. For a while, I wondered. You would think a huge wave would be coming soon. I started seeing things. Mm. Well, I'm doing the best I can. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed.
But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Hmm. Or maybe I came back to them. True. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Oh, man. Edith. Mom, you're gonna rip it. Let go. I kicked and screamed, but... She's Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Wow, After that, wow. we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. Cancer? She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. One of the cast members actually like, asked. I'm not too sure her sh Shirley Dallas is. But what a wild and crazy story. Oh, all the baby pictures of. The developing team. Well, pretty cool story. 
um super super short but uh yeah definitely worthwhile for the run just to kind of have something to chill out chillax relax and uh yeah and just enjoy a, a pretty cool fascinating story Yeah, where the game uh, entertains you and uh, you're not trying to entertain yourself. Those always get to be a little bit um, tiresome pretty fast. These, where you can just kind of kick back and let the story take you on a little quick journey and stuff and everything. It's pretty cool. Alrighty, my friends. Um, man, achievement unlocked. Thanks. Something. Yeah, when you play. <laughs> Well, you guys can see it down there. It's like microscopic. But anyhow, that's... Uh... Yeah, I'll let these credits roll on. Um, if you guys enjoyed this series, yeah, um, appreciate the subs. It sure helps out the channel. That's if uh, you do decide to sub. Make sure to hit that notification bell because we try to drop two a day every day. Three on Saturday. Um, until then, my friends... Uh, be safe, be healthy, because it's crazy AF out there right now um, with the pandemic. But until then, I will see you on the other side of the next part. Oh, man, that was a great part right there. The dreadful stories. The comic book ones. Until then, peace. I'll let these roll. Yep, beautiful story. Alrighty, my friends. We outie. Peace.